Patrick Brown is a Canadian politician who is the leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Ontario and Ontario's leader of the opposition. So why should we, the people of Ontario, give you this incredible opportunity? Because I want to turn Ontario around. You know, I, I love Ontario uh, like you do. Uh, this is an incredible province. Well, there's a lot of families right now who have to choose between paying their hydro bill or putting food on the table. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, has Kathleen Wynne and this Liberal government made a mess of hydro. On their watch, hydro rates have skyrocketed to among the highest in North America. I've got news for Kathleen Wynne. These expensive foreign wind turbine contracts and solar farms you sign contracts for, to your friends, your insiders, your donors. I want to turn that all around. I want to make Ontario the place that businesses want to be. I want to create an environment where Ontario is the easiest place. If you want to sweat and toil and work hard and, and run a small business, I want to make this the easiest jurisdiction to build your business. Ontario is perhaps the most diverse province in all of Canada. Um, what will you do to make sure your government is inclusive and that nobody is left out? Why well, I love Ontario's diversity, and frankly, for me, the starting point is I wanted to make sure my party reflected that diversity. Mm -hmm. When I took over uh, the leadership, actually, when I started this journey for the leadership, the party membership was only 12,000, mm -hmm. and it was mostly rural and mostly white, and I said I couldn't accept that. I wanted the party's membership and eventually our caucus to reflect the beautiful mosaic that is Ontario. And I can tell you today, the membership is 140,000. By the end of the year, we expect it to hit 200,000. We're more diverse than ever before. Mm -hmm. We have more visible minorities in our party membership than all the other parties now combined. Congratulations. We have, we have our, some of our largest memberships in places like Scarborough, Markham, Brampton, um, downtown Toronto. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are disproportionately young, and uh, that's a great thing for a party. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my vision of Ontario is this. It doesn't matter who you love, where you're born, what the color of your skin is, what God you worship. Everyone has a home in the Ontario PC party and Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, it, this is a province that is stronger because of its diversity. And there are some countries where they say, forget where you come from and it's a melting pot. What I love about Canada and what I love about Ontario is we don't say that. We understand that our unique traditions, our unique heritage makes mm -hmm. the country more beautiful and the fact that we've got a myriad of cultures um, I think strengthens uh, Ontario. It makes us a place that um, people from all around the world can come to and, and succeed. You know there used to be a story, Horatio Alger, about rags to riches. And my good friend Prem Watsa you know, does an annual gala in support of helping those who have uh, gone from rags to riches with mm -hmm. scholarships. Mm -hmm. And I think nowhere is that more possible than it is in Canada. Nowhere is it more possible than it is in, in a beautiful place like, like this. And I want to make sure uh, that no matter where you've come from, mm -hmm. that if you, if you work hard, that this is a province in which you can succeed. And my vision of Ontario is one that is absolutely inclusive. All right. So that's really good news for us. Uh, because we're here to promote the diversity and so everyone feels part of the country and then they will contribute mm -hmm. as well. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, people who adhere to c social conservative points of view, mm -hmm. people of faith. Mm -hmm. Will there be any room for them in your government? Everyone's welcome in my uh, party, my government. Uh, for me, uh, I'll be very uh, blunt. It doesn't matter if you go to a synagogue, you go to a mosque, you go to an evangelical church, you, you, uh, whether you go to a mandir or whether you go to a, a Catholic church like I do. Um, your private religious views are, 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 are very personal and it's none of my business, it's none of government's business. So everyone is welcome in my modern inclusive PC party. But what I will say is there's some groups that will, they don't welcome diversity, they don't welcome inclusion. If anyone tells me, Patrick, I don't want to see you going uh, to visit this group. Um, someone says, Patrick, I don't want you to go to that Tamil function or this uh, Muslim function or I don't want you to go to this pride parade. I say, that's not Canadian. Um, everyone's welcome my party, uh, but I'm never going to disparage a minority group. I'm never going to disparage another group of Canadians. I'm going to say everyone is welcome. Mm. Because there are people in a large group of people mm. who have concerns mm -hmm. and they have said to us is that we in in your platform mm -hmm. the way you have presented yourself 
uh, they don't see their values reflected. So what are you going to do to uh, address their concerns because they are apprehensive right now? Well, there are some people who um, obviously have been vocal since I was the first PC leader to take an official delegation into the Toronto Pride Parade. And I've said that in this platform, topics like um, rights for same-sex couples is not something that I'm willing to debate. Um, frankly, we're beyond that. Um, well, what, I don't think anyone in Canada, um, I, I don't think anyone in Ontario wants us to be spending valuable time uh, debating um, rights that have already been secured. Uh, you know, I, I don't want us to go back in history. Uh, I, I'm glad that we're at a point where we have uh, marriage equality, where, um, and frankly, it's not a government's business who you love. Um, and, uh, you know, if anyone you know, can't support me as a candidate because I support equal rights, because I support marriage equality, um, then so be it. Uh, I have to be honest to myself. I have to be honest to my heart. Uh, and I want to make sure that we treat every one of our citizens uh, with respect mm -hmm. in the province of Ontario. Um, and that includes, uh, like I said, it doesn't matter who you love, where you're born, what the color of your skin is, what God you worships, everyone should be able to be given an equal opportunity in the province of Ontario. What do you say to people who, um, who, who support pro-life issues? Mm -hmm. Well, what happens to them? So I've got caucus members that are pro-life. Okay. You know, uh, Sam Usteroff in, in Niagara West Glanbrook. I, you know, he's a, 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 a member of my um, caucus, as is Monty McNaughton in Lambton. Everyone's entitled to their, um, their personal views. Uh, but what I would say, um, uh, I'm not revisiting the um, uh, abortion uh, issue. I support a woman's uh, right to choose. Um, and we had a recent debate on having um, bubble zones around um, abortion clinics so that women are not uh, harassed. Um, and I think it's important to uh, protect the rights that uh, women have fought for. Um, and uh, uh, that's not an issue that I'm uh, interested in, in, in revisiting. I want to focus on the bigger issues facing Ontario, which are creating jobs again, uh, lower hydro rates, ending the ethical lapses that have been, have, have been breached. But I will say, you know, there are, sometimes we get caught up in these old debates that are, that are long over. No, um, it's, and, it's not the debate that people are concerned about. They just want to make sure that their values or their points of view are respected. For example, under the current uh, liberal government, mm -hmm. so we're talking federally, mm -hmm. there's one point of view. Mm -hmm. And if you have another point of view, well, you're not welcome. You can't even be a part of uh, the, the caucus or you're not even allowed to be a member of the party, mm -hmm. which is not mm -hmm. a good position to have because people have all kinds of points of view. And it's all about choices, right? Whatever choice people may have, they may choose a certain point of view, and that's their right uh, as Ontarians or as Canadians. And then there are people who adhere to another point of view, and whether we agree with it or with, whether we don't agree with that, we have to be able to respect well, that. Well, the, the beauty of democracy is you're um, allowed different uh, yes. points of view. And, yes. Um, you know, I, uh, I value our democracy. Uh, but if people want to know um, where I stand, uh, and I think it's important that I am an open book, um, I, I want everyone in Ontario to know that my focus is on fixing Ontario's economy, getting this province, which is fundamental, uh, getting yes. this province back on track, um, and uh, and I support um, the rights. I support marriage equality. I support the civil rights that have been fought for and and garnished, and and um, I will always protect. Um, any minority group in Ontario um, from, uh, you know, th there are different moments where uh, different groups face, um, uh, face uh, persecution. You know, there's, uh, I can tell you there are a number of occasions I've worked with cultural communities that have faced real challenges in Ontario and, and, and I'll, go to, I'll go to bat for them. Um, yes. I think that's the job of the, of the Premier for, of, of Ontario and whether it's, if there's any any Ontarians that are going to disparage, whether it's uh, new Canadians, francophones, whether it's those members of the LGBTQ community, uh, I find that distasteful. And I will always stand up um, for uh, I always stand up uh, for every Ontarian. I I don't want to see any Ontarian um, 
disparaged or attacked uh, or diminished because of who they love, where they're born, what the color of their skin is, or what their faith is. I want to make sure that every Ontarian is treated with respect, that every Ontarian is given the same um, equal respect. opportunity yeah. to succeed. Mm -hmm. And that is the Canadian yeah. way. It is. That's, yeah. that's one of the reasons why I chose Canada. Of all the countries I could have chosen to immigrate to, I chose Canada, and I'm still here, and I want to be here. And it's an amazing country. Absolutely yeah. amazing country, and we love it. Um, but there are some people um, from, especially the Christian community, mm -hmm. who feel that they don't have a voice anymore. Mm -hmm. They they experience. Um, um, you know, all kinds of obstacles. I'm not going to use the word uh, uh, like persecution because we're not there. Mm -hmm. uh, but they do feel obstacles. For example, if they want to get something done, if they happen to be Christians, it's like, okay, we don't even want to talk about, uh, you know, don't even mention the name Jesus. Or when it comes to Christmas, we're not even allowed to use the word Christmas. It must be a happy holiday. Or, But there are people who have come from all over the world to this country to be able to say that, well, to be able to worship freely, well, I, right? I, I, what are we going to do about that? Well, I'd say uh, this, uh, um, during Hanukkah, I say Happy Hanukkah. Yes. Um, when we have an Eid celebration, uh, um, I uh, s s celebrate Eid. And yes. frankly, um, during Christmas, um, which is um, part of my faith, I say Merry Christmas. Yes. Um, and so, uh, I think it's important to use uh, terms that are respectful of each uh, faith in the province of Ontario. And so I see nothing wrong with saying a uh, Merry uh, Christmas. Because uh, it is Christmas, yeah. right? Uh, and, and exactly. And so uh, some, it makes no sense yeah, and, and, to call it a happy holiday you know, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Or on Seinfeld, it was, uh, they had fets, you know, they had new terms. Remember that? Yes. The, How uh, crazy is yeah. that? Yeah. But you know what? Um, I think the beauty of Ontario is we all want to be respectful of each other's face and learn, and learn Absolutely. about each other's face. And what you find, the more you learn about each other, the more beautiful you realize that our respective um, ancestry is. All right, so now we can't let you leave without telling us who really is Patrick Brown. Well, you know, I come from a close family. Uh, mm -hmm. My uh, mother is a, a retired uh, school teacher. My dad is a uh, uh, a lawyer. I've got two younger sisters who are um, two of my best friends. Uh, uh, one is a, a dentist in the city of Toronto, the other is a, a lawyer in the city of Toronto. Um, my younger sister Stephanie's got three beautiful young boys uh, mm -hmm. aged one, uh, three, and five. Okay. Um, and uh, part of my, whenever I get a chance to take a break, one of my favorite things to do is uh, go over and visit them and, right. and get them riled up and then return them to my sister. I've got a, a one remaining grandparent. You know, I was very close with all my grandparents, uh, um, but my one remaining grandparent, my grandmother Teresa, is 103 years old. Oh wow! Uh, and she's still the sharpest, smartest member of the family. Okay. I used to play um, uh, Scrabble with her all the time, mm -hmm. and she, and no one could beat her in Scrabble until she lost her vision. And so I used to joke with Nana. I said, the only way I could finally beat you in Scrabble <laughs> is when you lost your sight. Uh, but uh, I, I still visit her every uh, week, despite uh, how busy my schedule is, because I love my family. If, mm. if people want to know who Patrick Brown is, family motivates me. Um, I want to do well for them. I, wa I want them to uh, be proud that I'm uh, going to do something good for our our province. All right. I, I come from Barrie, Ontario in Simcoe County. Mm -hmm. um, it's a small city uh, that uh, there's a real sense of community. So when they say, you know, who's Patrick? I, I'm a hard worker. I, I, I'm close with family. I, I, love, um, I love this province. Uh, by, by training, I'm, I'm a lawyer. Don't hold that against me. I didn't practice too long. No, uh, I don't hold. <laughs> I have high respect for lawyers. And, I'm a daughter of a lawyer. There you go. And I um, I love sports too. I've I've grown up playing hockey. Yes. Um, I love running. Uh, I love the outdoors. Uh, um, I love every corner of this province. I've fallen in love with this province. Whether I'm visiting remote remote corners of northern Ontario, whether I'm attending cultural functions in in, in downtown Toronto, there are so many beautiful parts of this province. And uh, um, the more uh, I travel in this province, the more I fall in love with it. Mm -hmm. Favorite foods. Well, you know what? One of the great things about Ontario is that you have um, so many different foods. And I fall in love with foods from almost every different cultural group. You know, I, I, let me give you an example. 
in the Filipino community, there's a, a dessert called halo halo, and I love it. Um, in the Indian community, one of the great vegetarian dishes I love is bindi. Um, uh, you know, I okay, that's okra. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, you know what? There's some uh, there's some phenomenal uh, food in this province, and learning the different culinary traditions is something that's been uh, special for me. But uh, you know, I. I think, you know, I think of my favorite food. My, my late grandfather used to cook the family steak on every Sunday night. So our special night was Sunday. Mm. And if I think of my perfect meal, it's probably a, a steak and salad uh, because it reminds me of my, uh, my childhood. That was our special night every Sunday at 5. All right. That sounds great. So why don't you look in the camera? And there are some people who are uh, uh, on the fence. Mm. And they say everything we've heard is good but they want to hear from you. Uh, what would you like to tell them? Why should they give you this great opportunity? Well, I'll say this. Uh, a good public servant can't be all things to all people. They just have to try their hardest. They have to be sincere in their heart. And they have to have the right intentions. And my only intention is to see Ontario do better. My only intention is to make sure that this is the easiest place to achieve your dreams. That if you want to sweat and toil and work hard in the province of Ontario, that everything that you can dream, you can achieve. I want to make this a place that uh, uh, you can make ends meet with your family and get ahead. Uh, you know, I, I want to see Ontario as the economic engine within Canada. I want to make this province the envy of Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, years ago, if you asked about Ontario, um, everyone said that's where you wanted to be. When Bill Davis was premier, you know, this was a driving force within Canada. I want us to get us. I want to get us back there. Uh, right now, we're receiving equalization payments. We're a have-not province. I won't settle for that. I will work day in and day out to make sure we can have an Ontario that reaches its potential. All right. So there you go. You've heard from his own mouth the things that he plans to do for all of us in Ontario and this is a change that we are looking forward to and we need it. So I know you're going to give Patrick an opportunity. I look forward to seeing you in Queen's Park as our Premier. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for being or here. Or as I say to some of my friends in India, as our next Chief Minister. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Thank you though. Don't go anywhere. We have lots more for you.